Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alma. I'm glad to have you on my channel today. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, hello. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. All right, guys. Today, I've come to teach you how to remove the eyes of the enemy from your life. How to clear off negativity from your life using only but only but onions. Onion. Will agree with me that no matter who you are, no matter how good you are, you've got enemies. You do not have to leave your body like that, leave yourself like that, while the enemy take, you know, be in charge of your life by destroying your life for you. I want to teach you how to clear off negativity from your life using onion. We consume onion on daily basis, but we do not know that onion is very powerful in removing the eye of the wicked ones. You can recall that when cutting onion, it brings out tears from your eye. Exactly the same way that your enemies will be blinded when you make use of onion to cleanse your body and your soul so that the enemies will be far away from you. It is a very simple ritual. Just your dedication, your faith, okay, is what is needed and required for this ritual to be very effective. So it's applicable for other rituals. You need to believe that, you need to trust, you need to have faith that this is gonna work for you as it is working for many. Yes, it's tested and confirmed. This ritual is 99% effective, guys. It's tested and confirmed. Do this every once in a week and you will see yourself. As in, you will be happier than ever. For this particular ritual, it is done three times. The ritual will take place three days. Okay? Three days onion ritual. This ritual will also remove spell, like someone who is under a spell and you don't know, or maybe your husband, someone has charmed your husband, your husband is under a spell, this onion will also remove it, this onion ritual, if you do it well. It will remove spell, like some people that, that they have casted, you know, lost spell on. It can remove it from you. All you need to do is to believe that it's going to work for you because it's working for many. How do you go about this? Three onions for the three days that this ritual is going to take place. In the night, go and get a bucket. Fetch water from well. Well water is what is required for this ritual. If you notice that your husband is behaving somehow, and you don't know what is going on. He, he used to be a loving husband, but all of a sudden, he's no longer loving. Go ahead and do this onion cleansing bath for him. This bath destroys love spell. It destroys the eye of the, the enemy. It destroys the, an evil spell that is casted on anyone. It destroys evil eye up, upon your life. So, all you have to do, you don't need to tell your partner. If you just notice that he is not himself anymore, maybe someone outside has taken advantage of him. Go ahead and do this. Just go in the night or in the evening, you get water. Let's say between 5 to 6 p.m. Get water from the well, one full bucket of water from the well. Take one onion, one onion for, for one day. Take this onion, use knife and cut it into two equal halves. That's divide it into two equal halves. Cut it like this. Round. As you finish cutting it, you talk to the onion, both of it inside your pan. 
that you want it to remove every negativity in your life. Any spell that is casted upon you, knowingly or unknowingly. If it is your husband you are doing this for, you mention his name. This onion, I'm using, I'm using this onion to remove any spell that is casted on Chinedu or Kongo or on Ayo um, Bamidele. Any, the name of your husband must be included if you are doing it for your husband. Then, when you are doing it for your husband, when you mention his name, you get a piece of paper and write down his name too. Put it inside the same bucket of water. Put the onion inside the same bucket of water. <laughs> if the onion inside, put the paper inside the bucket of water. Put the paper, allow it to stay for like one minute. Then you remove the paper and trash it. But the onion will continue to be inside the water. But if you're doing it for yourself, you do not need, do not need to um, put your name inside it because you are the one. The energy is, go is going directly from you to this onion. So you just say, after using, after praying towards it, you put it inside this um, bucket of water. Go and drop the bucket. Keep the bucket where it will not touch the floor. Okay? Do not cover the bucket. Just keep it where it will not touch the floor. Like what I mean is that if the floor is this, get a plank, put it on top of the plank. Or you can look for something that can carry the weight of the water. Let it not be directly on the floor. Allow it to stay there till the next day. Let the bucket of water stay there till the next day. In the morning, you go and carry this water and have your bath. If it is your husband you have prepared this onion cleansing bath for, then you just put the water for him to have his bath. You will see what will happen. Repeat this ritual for three days. You must have your bath in the morning. When you wake up, do not speak to anybody. Don't greet anybody. Don't talk to anybody. If someone talks to you, do well. If you want to do it, if you know your husband might be sad or maybe angry when he's talking to you in the morning and you're not, sorry, and you're not responding, just tell him a day before that very day that you're going to embark on a ritual. Please, you don't need anything that is called disturbance. You let him know. Do you understand? You 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 involve him into it so that he will get to know not to distract you. Because once you speak to somebody before you start, it's already spoiled to be destroyed. So after you're done, you just carry the thing like this and go and have your bath, the bucket of water. After having your bath, pick the onion inside it. Go and look for a place and bury it. If you do not have a place where you can bury it, for people that will start asking me, if you do not have a place where you can bury it, hmm, just go and look for a flowing water. If you can destroy it by burning it, by putting it inside a burning, maybe incinerator, where there are burning stuff, burning trash, put it inside it. These are the only places it is safe. All right? You will see this onion bath is very, 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 very effective. Very effective. It will remove eye of the evil ones upon your life, upon your family. You can also do it for your family members. You can do it for your children. You can do it for your children, not only yourself or your husband. Complete it for three days. So, you will do this ritual for three days. Okay? Make sure that when you're doing it, you wake up by at least 5 a.m. Between 5 to 6 a.m. is okay. Don't do it later than that. Do it when the spirit everywhere is calm. Mention that you are removing all the blockages in your life. All evil eye, any, any enemy that is looking at you, any evil spirit that has casted a spell on you, you are removing it when you are doing it. You understand? If you don't want your husband to know about when you are putting it, then mention, write your intentions in that paper before you put it there alongside with the onion. If it is for your husband, put it there, allow it to stay for just one minute. You remove it so that the paper will not scatter inside the, inside the, the water. You understand? Do this ritual and come back with your testimony. It's very, very, it's very effective. You will start noticing changes in your life. If you are the one, if you are the type that is being rejected by people out of hatred, you will start seeing love. People will start loving you because this onion spell is very, very effective. Go and do it. Do not allow yourself to just be like that. You need to do something. 
You need to you need to make sure that you cleanse yourself from negativity. It is very important. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you guys a whole lot. God bless you. See you guys in my next one. Bye.